So you have to get the police involved so that you can get a copy of the BOLs. They're trying to say that our reefer was not running properly. They tell you that four pallets are being rejected. If it is a reefer issue, it is truly the entire truckload, not just a couple pallets or a couple cases from this pallet or that pallet. It doesn't work like that. And owner operators out there, please, please, you need to fight. This is insurance fraud. We have a situation right here. How many of you are reefer drivers and how many of you have had your load rejected? Well, here is a situation where trucker mom says this is definitely insurance fraud and you got to watch out for this. Let's get into today's video. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. We have Trucker Mom. She has a really good PSA for the truck drivers out there because recently she had a situation happen and she's telling new drivers, especially reefer drivers, that this is insurance fraud. Basically, if you have a reefer load, they're not going to just deny a couple pallets. They got to deny the whole load and you're supposed to get that whole load back. And then whatever you got to do is what you got to do. So you have to get the police involved so that you can get a copy of the BOLs. They're trying to say that our reefer was not running properly. How do you have 20 five pallets on your truck well excuse me reefer trailer and they tell you that four pallets are being rejected if it is a reefer issue it is truly the entire truckload not just a couple pallets or a couple cases from this pallet or that pallet it doesn't work like that and owner operators out there please please you need to fight this is insurance fraud. They're trying to collect insurance plus sell the product. And the broker says, no, sorry, you're not getting paid. We're all out here trying to make an honest living, take care of our families, feed our families, do the right thing. And then I asked for a copy of pay the paperwork from my driver because they refused to give it to him yesterday. And so what's he do? He holds it up through the fence like you're a prisoner. I said, buddy, I said, I'm asking to see the paperwork so I can show you. The avocados that was received at Transcool down in McAllen, Texas, received it from another truck and the temperature pulped 53 to 56 degrees. Then when they pop it here in Logan Township, New Jersey, it popped the same temperature. Why? A reefer is only to maintain the current temperature. It is not to cool the product. So many owner operators don't want to take the time to fight things like this. Oh, that's what insurance is for. No, this is why all of us are eventually going to go out of business because the insurance is so ungodly, ridiculously high. Owner operator, operators, stand up for yourself. You have questions, start asking. I've been doing this over 20 years. And so far, there has been, in the past 15 years, there's been 10 potential claims that I have won because I did my homework. Can you imagine? After two, three claims, we, we wouldn't even be here today. So I'm letting you know now. Take care of yourself, owner operators, especially the ones that run reefer. You have questions, ask. No question is stupid. But what UNFI is doing is wrong. They have tomatoes, cauliflower, celery, um, lemons, limes, asparagus, all on the same truck. They all run at different temperatures. This is just 
an accident waiting to happen when it comes to insurance. Please refer owner operators. Take control of what people are trying to do. It's insurance fraud. And the fact that Prime apparently pulls a load in here every week and they have the same issue. And I was told by one of the inspectors here that works for UNFI that, oh, there's product rejected all the time because you can't have something that's supposed to be running at 34 degrees on the same trailer as something that's got to be running at 50. Everybody, I'm sorry that I'm kind of mm, a little on the uptight side, but I'll get there. But again, owner operators that run reefer, don't go for this crap. It is insurance fraud. They're trying to get your insurance money while they're still making money off of the product that they're wanting to keep. That's not right. All right, drivers, have a blessed day and be safe. Right now, they wouldn't even give her the BOL. She had to call the cops to get the bill of lading. So it's definitely something tricky going on. A red flag going on here is Unify in Township, New Jersey. I don't know if you've been to the shipper before, but 100%, she says she has over 20 plus years of experience and she fought a lot of claims and owner operators need to fight these claims because what they're trying to do is they're trying to take a couple of these pallets, sell them themselves, not pay you, do it claim through the insurance. And then of course, you know, they're going to get free product for it. You know, uh, this is insurance fraud and trucker mom. Thank you so much for sharing this. Uh, this is her video. Please follow her on social media. But yeah, 100%, you know, you got to make sure that you have your own back and you have to fight for yourself because sometimes the shippers and brokers can be a little scammy. What's going on with the truckers? We got big news here. Mother trucker, big rig tees, one of a kind customs. We're going to be at the Texas Trucking Show June 24th and 5th. Do not miss this for the world. I mean, for all the truck drivers out there, over 15,000 drivers came last year. And I'm telling you, it's free for all of y'all. All you got to do is just hit the links down below and register and you can come just for free. It's out here at the NRG Center in Houston and we're going to have a good time. For exhibitors, there's still a couple booths left, so don't miss out on that. And if you want to bring your show truck, it's free to register as well. The Texas Trucking Show, they take care of our drivers. They make pretty much everything free for the driver and just come and enjoy this event. We're going to see you there. Don't miss it. June 24th and 5th.